Penn State's recruiting a lot of speed. This one coming from their backyard. A lot of good football players in Pennsylvania this year. Anthony Ivey, the next one from Mannheim Township. We'll be talking about him today on T. Frank's Film Room. I'm your host, Thomas Frank Carr. And if you watched any of the other evaluations, uh, a lot of these, it's it's super interesting. A lot of these players are very similar. So we're going to be repeating a lot of themes and a lot of things for Anthony Ivey that I've said for some of the other athletes in Penn State's class. And I don't know that that's necessarily not by design. Uh, right down to the weaknesses that they may have as football players. So we'll get into all of that with Anthony Ivey, a guy that has improved dramatically in really important areas as a football player. And I'll give you some of that in just a little bit, but let's meet him. Anthony Ivy, the wide receiver from Mannheim Township, 5'11", 175 in the On3 database. The composite ranking has him as the 215th player in the nation. He's the 34th ranked wide receiver and the seventh overall player in the state of Pennsylvania. Like I said, a lot of good players in Pennsylvania this year, including the best player in America, according to Gatorade. So uh, a deep class in Pennsylvania and Penn State is striking at that class. So Anthony Ivy. What does he bring to the table? Well, a lot like some of his, the other players in this class, speed. Penn State wants speed, and they are not concerned where it comes from. So as far as that goes, Anthony Ivey's one of the better ones that you're going to find as far as not just the deep speed, but deep receiving skills. A lot of these things that he do, he does, we'll touch on it in his route running in a little bit, but just the ability to get behind players. A lot of this stuff, by the way, coming from his junior film, which was highly impressive as well. Watch the way he uses multiple gears to get down the football field, and he's coming back for that pass, meaning he's running really fast. Here's another one where he, he gets off press at the boundary. I think that's really important for his evaluation because there's a lot of slot bodies, and he can be that in the future so he's got to show if he wants to get on the football field right now the best path to victory for him is going to be to play on the outside here's another great situation that kind of shows that the ability to go up and get the ball in a contested catch situation I don't know that that's his best skill but he can do it and again here a slot wheel wide open not not even really a fair competition there but as far as other areas where he can get on the football field uh, it's not just the boundary or the slot he is a uh He's a threat on special teams as well as one of the more prolific returners in Manham Township history. His kick return ability, not only is it that speed you already saw, but this particular play comes deep in the fourth quarter in a very contested game against uh, Central Dauphin East, a rivalry game of sorts. It was a very chippy game early on. And Anthony Ivey, this is right after a touchdown to put uh, Central Dauphin East back in the game. And he goes, he gets his team up a touchdown right afterwards. This is in uh, against Wilson in the playoffs where he was struggling in the rain, wasn't getting a lot of targets, still finds a way to contribute and make an impact in the game. So Anthony Ivey, not only does he have those kick return abilities, and I do think he could be a guy there, or as a punt returner, he has the ability to do them in big situations as well. And I think that maturity, that intensity, that's all a part of his profile. Some areas that I think improved as well were his, his catching ability, where he was a little bit focus-oriented with some drops in his junior season. That's cleaned up especially. And the best part of his game, I did save it for last a little bit here, is his route running ability. There's a lot of good route runners that have come to Penn State recently. And maybe outside of Christian Driver, who might play safety, I think Ivy's route running might be some of the best that Penn State has, has, has acquired early in his career. Again, look at good hands, contested, uh, a good concentration catch there. And then watch the way he set up that with the, post, uh, with the corner, then come back to the post. Love all these things. Right here, the ability to focus through the catch. Here in the slot, again, watch the way he sets this up. Fake to the inside, hit it hard to the outside. His transition skills at the top of his routes are so good. These look wide open like the defensive back isn't there, but he's creating that separation. I just want to watch that one again because these are just, they're so subtle, but they're so good. Inside, outside, bang. And then there's the, there's the touchdown. From head fakes to uh, body manipulation, to his eyes, to just the efficiency and the twitchy electric ability he has as a route runner, he's got it all in that package, and he has improved on that. That was an area he was very good 
uh, getting off press and all those things. His junior season, I think he's taken a step forward in his senior season, and that can only get better with a guy like Taylor Stubblefield, who is an expert at those things. So it's a great match between Anthony Ivey and Taylor Stubblefield at Penn State. So the next thing is an area of improvement, but an area that he still needs to keep improving because somebody's got to play on the boundary, and that would be his functional strength. And I keep referencing this, but Penn State has a lot of slot bodies. They've got a lot of elite speed guys, but you've got to have them all on the football field. And here, I think he's improved his strength. So the contested catches, I showed you this one a little bit earlier, fighting through the jam at the route, physicality from defensive backs in the route. He's done a good job of these things, and they improve. But if it, we talk about run after the catch, you've seen his kick return and his deep speed ability. The other half of that is his run after the catch. It's all based on elusiveness and not necessarily on strength or size. Somebody's got to have that. In this recruiting, in this recruiting cycle, or in this team that's going to be built over the next couple of years, and he's got the frame for it. He would be the guy that I would say, if you're going to say somebody's got a, one of these sub six foot receivers has to get up to 200 pounds or 195. He doesn't have the the biggest frame in the world, but he's shown growth and development. He's a little thicker than some of the guys that Penn State's had in that slot position outside of Parker Washington, who's basically a running back. He's got to find a way to get on the football field with a lot of speed and talent and get that threat, I think, to the boundary. And that means he needs to grow a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. I think that's a good path for him. But if that doesn't ever happen, he is a twitchy, great route runner who's going to put defensive backs in conflict with his ability to not only sell routes, but turn and run in any direction. And with Anthony Ivey, he's going to be another in a very deep speed and talent and technician class where they're going to win creating separation and explosive plays for Penn State football. That's their path to victory. And that's Anthony Ivey's scout uh, film room here on T. Frank's film room. I'm your host, Thomas Frank Carr. Again, make sure that you subscribe to Blue White Illustrated on YouTube so you don't miss any of T. Frank's film room and our coverage of Penn State football.